I'm your neighborhood reporter, Olivia Pajo. Voters will determine next week if a new jail is in Jackson's future. And I'm finding out from our neighbors on whether they support or don't support a millage. A millage is just the way it has to get done. Captain Anthony Stewart is talking about the public safety millage voters will be deciding on next Tuesday. The goal of the millage, building a brand new jail on Chanter Road. Captain Stewart says is long overdue. And our neighbors will foot the bill, costing those who own a $100,000 home about $45 per year. If you break that down, I mean, you're talking pennies a day. And for those pennies a day, it's going to improve our public safety. For some, it's not that simple. Tim Keyes isn't open to paying any extra in taxes. Property taxes have increased significantly over the past couple of years, regardless of any additional millages that have been passed um, due to inflation and generous assessments by the county. On the other hand, Stu Kale decided a millage was necessary after touring the facility himself in 2022. This is a public safety uh, opportunity for our community. And when we think about uh, the ability to be able to hold people that have broken the law, uh, to keep them there, potentially to be able to get access to mental health and some other things that they may need. I think it's in incredibly important. Keyes says he would like to see more from the county on where his tax dollars are going. I don't feel like the county has been very detailed with how much the building is going to cost and how much operational costs are contained within that millage. According to the sheriff's department, the total cost of the jail is $54.4 million. Keel believes the issue of public safety is enough to vote yes. I think about my kids and I think about, I want my kids to stay in Jackson. I want my kids to work here. I want my kids to raise their families here. And this is something that's going to impact them, that's going to impact all, all other people within our community for generations to come. Whereas Keyes hopes the tax is something that won't be passed down to future generations. 20 years ago, we paid to have the Chanter Road facility jail built to ease overcrowding, and now we're still in the same position 20 years later. So who's to say that this is going to address those issues, and my kids are not going to have to deal with it 20 years from now. A decision officials from the Sheriff's Department say would have a far-reaging impact. Reporting in Jackson, I'm Olivia Pajot, Fox 47 News.